Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject data structures was stacks. So stack is one of the important topic uh, for storing the data in memory. A stack is an ordered collection of homogeneous data elements where the insertion and deletion takes place at one end, that is at the top end. So we are just arranging the elements in a stack. Okay, so this is a stack. We are arranging the elements in a stack so that the insertion and the deletion takes place only at one end, that is the top. So if you want to delete the element, you have to delete the topmost element. If you want to insert the element, you have to put it on the top of the stack. So that is a definition of stack. A stack is an ordered collection of homogeneous data elements. The stack is also called as last in first out. LIFO. Whatever the last you have put, that has to be taken out first. So that's why we call it as a LIFO. Last in first out. It means the element which is inserted last must be deleted first. So that is the meaning of LIFO. The element which is inserted last must be deleted first. The examples for the stack are number of plates in cafeteria. So if you take whatever the plates, suppose in your home you have just arranged the plates. Okay. If you arrange the plates, if you want to remove the, uh, take the plate, which plate you will take? The topmost plate you will take. After the next plate. After that the next plate. Like this. So this is a way of arranging the plates in a stack. So in the same way in the memory also, we are storing the data uh, in the form of stack. Okay, you can arrange the data in the form of stack. And the another example is stack of coins. So just placing the coins one above the other, you are just uh, a stack of coins. So how you are going to take the coins, the topmost coin you will take. Okay, if you want to put new coin, you put it on the topmost. So these are the examples of the stack. Number of plates uh, that arranged in the cafeteria and the stack of coins. Now let us see what are the basic operations that we can perform on this stack. The basic operations are insertion, deletion, display. So these are the basic operations that we can perform on this stack. Insertion means just putting the data onto the stack. Deletion, taking the data out of the stack. Displaying, so whatever the data that is present on the stack that you have to be displayed. So these are the basic operations that we can perform on the stack. So for insertion, we use the terminology like push. Push means it's nothing but inserting. We are pushing the things, means inserting the things or adding the elements into the stack. It places an object on the top of the stack. So whenever we have seen the push command, it means the objects are placed on the top of the stack. Pushing means just adding or inserting. Whereas pop means deleting or removing. The terminology that we used for deleting a uh, delete uh, an element from the stack is a pop. Pop is deleting or removing elements from the stack and it removes an object from the top of the stack. So removes object from top of the stack. So that's why you call it as a LIFO. So place the object on top of stack and removes the object from top of the stack. And another operation that we can perform in the stack is, uh, we'll check is empty. Is empty means it just reports whether the stack is empty or not. And is full. It reports whether the stack exceeds limit or not. Means whenever the stack is full, it uh, checks whether it is full or not. So here you can see the basic operations. Let's say this is a stack. Okay. It's just a memory location stack. So first, if you want to in, uh, push an element, that is uh, insert an element onto the stack, you have to use push S comma A. S is nothing but a stack. In the stack, we are placing A element. After that, you want to, uh, suppose the stack con uh, is consisting of three elements. So this here, the stack was full. You are trying to push another element. If you want to uh, push a D element onto the stack. So here it is, there is no place in the stack. Already the stack is full. So it indicates the stack overflow. 
the terminology you will use if ever, uh, whenever the stack is uh, full you, we call it as a stack overflow whenever you are trying to push an element into the stack when the stack is full that stack will be overflow and pop means pop stack means just whatever the top element that is there that is popped that is removed so no need to mention which element you want to be popped by default the topmost element will be popped so that's why we have written the syntax as pop stack okay suppose the stack is empty still you want uh, you are trying to pop the elements on the stack but there is no elements on the stack then it leads to stack underflow stack underflow means whenever you are trying to uh, remove the element when uh, which are not present in the stack or if the stack is empty you are trying to uh, use the function pop then it indicates stack underflow stack overflow means exceeds uh, stack uh, stack underflow means there are no elements on the stack and you are trying to remove uh, remove the element okay so let's see a simple example of the stack how we are going to push the elements and pop the elements onto the stack elements are inserted in the order of let us take a five elements a b c d it represents the stack of five elements so just five locations will be there so at the starting the top is equal to minus one means uh, we are not uh, it is underflow minus one indicates underflow there is no elements in the stack so first is i want to push a element onto the stack now the top becomes zero okay next push the element b now top becomes one push c top 2 push d top 3 okay and push e top e so whatever the elements that i have taken uh, that elements are placed in the stack now the stack is full if you want to try to push another element push f there is no place in the stack so it indicates the overflow if you try to uh, if you try to insert uh, insert the element then it indicates the overflow now stack is full if you want to delete uh, element e has to be deleted first so up to here we have uh, used the operation push for inserting the element onto the stack if you want to delete the element from the stack you have to use the pop operation so just mention pop don't write any arguments here because the pop always uh, deletes the element whatever the element that is present on the top of the stack so first it deletes e next it's d next is c like that so whenever the top element is deleting the top is decrementing 3 2 1 0 minus 1 so minus 1 again it indicates underflow okay so this is uh, how the elements are inserted and deleted in the stack by using push and pop operations thank you